Hey, sisters and brothers in Christ, welcome to week 28 of Read Through the Bible in Two Years. In our Old Testament readings, we continue with the reading of the book of Deuteronomy. And if you recall, the theme of the book of Deuteronomy is to remember that Moses, who's now 120 years old, is giving the final instructions, is reviewing the, the, the law of God for God's people before they rush into the land that God has promised them. Now remember, though, that this land that God has promised him promised the people of God is not empty. It is full of other tribes who have their own religious customs. And so Moses is reviewing these, these laws of God to make sure that they're clear in the people's minds and in their hearts about God's desire for this new life in this new promised land. The readings for this week in Deuteronomy sometimes will, will sound strange to you and maybe even a little bit disturbing that, given our 21st century ears. They, they are definitely, some of these laws belong to a different culture at a different time, but it is important for us to read them. If nothing else, is to remind us that it is, it is under this, this set of understanding and culture that Jesus is going to come into the scene about 12, 1300 years later. And, and these are things that affect the teachings of Jesus and how he reinterprets some of these teachings, but also how they affect the people that are going to come to Jesus for healing, that come to Jesus for, for help and for forgiveness. And, and it has a lot to do with the readings that we, we read in the book of Deuteronomy. The New Testament reading for this upcoming week uh, begins a new book. We, we now return to one of the Gospels, the Gospel of Mark, which is the shortest of the four Gospels. It is the fastest of the four Gospels. And it is a, it is a Gospel that doesn't give us anything about Jesus' uh, early life, about his childhood. There are no stories about Jesus' birth in the, in the Gospel of Mark. However, it does talk about his baptism and what happens to, to Jesus in his baptism. And it really is a story that, that, that Mark preaches about what happens when, when the Spirit of God is set loose in the world in and through Jesus Christ. I find that one of the most important verses of the book of Mark is the book, uh, is the verse of chapter 1, verse 15, where Jesus is speaking the first words that that um, he speaks in his in his public ministry, and these are the first words that Jesus speaks: "The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. The kingdom of God is is at hand. It's so close you can touch it." And he says, "Repent," which basically means change your mind, wrap your mind around a new reality, and trust in this good news of the kingdom. And the stories that follow this are stories about about what it looks like in this world when the kingdom of God has been set loose. And so, folks, enjoy these stories about the healing and and cleansing from unclean unclean spirits and 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 see how it affects the world around us thank you brothers and sisters for your faithfulness in reading scripture through these 2 years and especially through these first 27 or 28 weeks now and may it make you not only understand scripture at a deeper level but also to love this god who gives us scripture. Thank you.